There are hundreds of movies based on our world history, and some of them are really interesting because it's history. So it's gonna be crazy. One day when my future kids maybe see this movie, they're gonna look at me and say, what happened in 2020? Here's Johnny. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Expecto Patronum! Dumb Money stars Paul Dano, Seth Rogen, Shailene Woodley, and America Ferrera, and is about the insane true story of everyday people who flipped the script on Wall Street and got rich by turning GameStop into the world's hottest company. From director Craig Gillipsy, who gave you I, Tonya, Cruella, and in my opinion, the underrated remake of Fright Night, comes Dumb Money, a movie from the trailer alone I wanted to see, because whenever Wall Street gets into just topics, and stock markets, it always, my brain goes back to Wolf of Wall Street because ever since that movie, the topic of stock markets always add in flair, drugs, sex, language. Ever since then, a lot of these movies have the same vibe. This one is no different, but this one focuses on the complete crazy story that I actually remember happening two years ago during the pandemic into 2021. This is the movie about the internal plot line, what happened, and basically trying to explain it to all of our audience members. The biggest praise is this cast. I mean, truly, everyone in this movie is just really good. I'm probably going to miss a few people, but the highlight is obviously Paul Dano. He has always been an underrated actor. He is fantastic at what he does. In this movie, it's no different. He's very humble. He's a very chill guy that just knows what he's doing, and he's just sharing the information. America Ferrera, She's one of the people that we follow throughout the movie that is like following him. She is really good in this movie. Obviously, she was in Barbie, so she's having a great summer. She's really good in this movie. Shailene Woodley, very small role, but a very supportive role. We have Mr. Krabs himself saying the F word as Paul Dano's dad. And Pete Davidson is his brother, which... Pete Davidson's good in this movie, but I'll be honest, it's Pete Davidson, so he's funny anyways, but in this movie, he's just Pete Davidson playing his brother. But, I mean, Seth Rogen's good, Nick Offerman's good, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio's really good in this, I mean, it's a cast. Hell, Dane DeHaan, is that his name? Green Goblin from Amazing Spider-Man 2? He's in this movie. He's in one of the smallest roles that I didn't even see. I was like, wait a minute, is that him? They took his mask off. I was like, oh my god, what? you've gotten a lot older, my guy, but... Throughout this whole movie, everyone just fits their roles. I mean, Sebastian Stan, he's in a small role. I mean, it's all just an integral plot line that goes to this insane story. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I am very dumb when it comes to all this terminology in the stock market. I followed a lot of stuff, but when it gets into the hinge things and what Seth Rogen's job is and exactly what his part is with Sebastian Stan, that stuff to me gets really confusing and there's a lot of terminology in this movie that just kind of flew right over my head. The movie does a good job trying to explain it. American Ferreira's character tries to explain it in the easiest way possible, but there are many times this movie I just really couldn't follow it. But the thing is, with clever editing, the director did a perfect job giving us a well-paced movie with great editing and very poppy music choices that it keeps you energetic while watching and it gives you enough great acting performances that throughout the story there's enough character moments. See, the movie does a good job at the storytelling for the movie as a watching ability. Overall though, I still walk away saying... I'm confused on certain things and how the movie wrapped up, what this character did to this stock market, to this Hinge account, to why they didn't sell or buy, and then there's stuff about blocking it, and all this is apparently true, and I have to say, like, I was never bored in this movie. For an hour and 40 minutes, it flew by, it told a good story with good pop music, great editing, great direction. This movie surprised me in many ways, but in the end, I walked away saying that was a good movie, I'm glad I learned information, but it's not something that's going to stick for me for like the rest of the year. It's a solid story and a good movie that I definitely recommend. I'm going to give Dumb Money a B+.
Also, one more thing, the one trailer I saw, I'm not gonna lie, it shows the entire movie in the one trailer. Now, I'm probably gonna use that trailer for my video, so I am sorry about that, but in my opinion, that one trailer showed most of this movie. I'm just saying. But anyways, it was a good movie. It was a good story. It was really well edited. Well, good script. Great acting. Again, just some of the terminology for my own taste, I just didn't get. But hey, I would actually love to watch it again and maybe even look more into the stock market. Do I have thousands of dollars to spare? Hell the fuck no. I mean, damn, this thing was during COVID and I, I was broke then. I'm broke now. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everyone!